Is Mormonism Christian? Well, this is a very important question. The answer is equally important and very simple, and the answer is no. Mormonism is not Christian. Now, if you're a Mormon, please realize that Karm is not trying to attack you, your character, or the sincerity of your belief. If you're a non-Mormon, however, looking into Mormonism, or if you're a Christian who is simply researching Mormonism, then this video should be of help to you. The reason Mormonism is not Christian is because it denies one or more of the essential doctrines of Christianity. Of these essential doctrines, for example, there's only one God. Jesus is God in flesh. Forgiveness of sins is by grace alone, by faith alone in Christ. Or Jesus rose from the dead physically and the gospel being the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Mormonism denies three of these. Now, how many gods there are is what it denies. It denies the true person of Christ, and it denies the true work of salvation and how we're saved. See, Mormonism teaches that God the Father has a body of flesh and bones. Now, that's in Doctrine and Covenants 130, verse 22. And that Jesus is a creation. It teaches that he was begotten in heaven as one of God's spirit children. Now see the book, Jesus the Christ by James Talmadge on page 8. This is in strict contrast and contradiction to the biblical teaching that Jesus is God in flesh. That's John 1.1 1, 1 and verse 14. That he is eternal, John 1.1 1, 1, verse 2 and verse 15. That he is uncreated, yet born on earth, Colossians 1.15. And that he is the creator, that's John 1.3. Colossians 1, verses 16 through 17. Jesus cannot be both created and not created at the same time. Though Mormonism teaches that Jesus is God in flesh, it teaches that he is a God in flesh, one of three gods that comprises the office of the Trinity. That's Articles of Faith by James Talmadge, page 35 and 40 through 40. These three gods are God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. This is in direct contradiction to the biblical teaching that there's only one God, Isaiah 44, verse 6 and 8, and 45, 5. Now, because Mormonism denies the biblical truth of who God is, and who Jesus is, and how forgiveness of sins is attained, and what the gospel is, the Mormon is not a Christian. In spite of his claims that he is, he's not a Christian. Mormon theology teaches that God is only one of countless gods, that he used to be a man on another planet, that he became a god by following the laws and ordinances of that god on that world, and that he brought one of his wives to this world with whom he produces spirit children who then inhabit human bodies at birth. The first spirit child to be born was Jesus. The second was Satan. Well, some say there was, he was the second, and some Mormons don't affirm that, but nevertheless. And that we all followed by being born in spirit heaven after them. But the Bible says that there's only one God, Isaiah 43, 10, 44, 6, and 8, 45, 5, that God was eternally God, Psalm 90, verse 2, which means he was never a man on another planet. Since the Bible denies the existence of other gods and goddesses, the idea that Jesus is the product of a god and a goddess couple is completely rejected. The Bible tells us that Jesus, well, the Jesus of Mormonism, is definitely not the same Jesus that is found in the scriptures. Therefore, faith in the Mormon Jesus is faith misplaced because the Mormon Jesus doesn't exist. Mormonism teaches that the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross itself and receiving it by faith is not sufficient to bring forgiveness of sins. It teaches that the forgiveness of sins is obtained through a cooperative effort with God. That is, we must be good and follow the laws and ordinances of the Mormon church in order to obtain forgiveness. Consider James Talmadge, a very important Mormon figure who said, quote, the sectarian dogma of justification by faith alone has exercised an influence for evil, end quote. That's Articles of Faith by James Talmadge, page 432. And he also said this, quote, hence the justice of the scriptural doctrine that salvation comes to the individual only through obedience, unquote. That's Articles of Faith by James Talmadge, page 81. This clearly contradicts the biblical doctrine of the forgiveness of sins by grace alone through faith, Romans 5.1 and Romans 6.23 and Ephesians 2.8 and 9. 
And the doctrine also is taught in the Bible that works, good works, are not part of our salvation, but the result of them. Romans 4, verses 1 through 11, and James 2, verses 14 through 18. To further confuse the matter, Mormonism further states that salvation is twofold. It maintains that salvation is both forgiveness of sins and universal resurrection. So when a Mormon speaks of salvation by grace, he is usually referring to universal resurrection. But the Bible speaks of salvation as the forgiveness of sins, being saved from the righteous judgment of God, not simply universal resurrection. Where Mormonism states that forgiveness of sins is not by faith alone, the Bible teaches that it is by faith alone, well, which is correct. Obviously, it is the Bible. Mormonism is not Christian. In order to justify its aberrant theology, Mormonism has undermined the authority and trustworthiness of the Bible. The eighth article of faith from the Mormon church states, quote, we believe the Bible is to be the word of God as far as it is translated correctly. Now, this means that when the Bible contradicts Mormonism, the Bible isn't trustworthy. The interesting thing is that Joseph Smith allegedly corrected the Bible, and it is called the inspired version, though it's not used by the LDS Church. Though they claim they trust the Bible, in reality, they do not. They use Mormon presuppositions to interpret it, and instead of letting it speak for itself, they insert Mormon ideas into the text. For example, when the Bible says there are no other gods in the universe, Isaiah 43, 10, 44, 6, and 8, they interpret it to mean no other gods of this world, which is not what the verses say. They do not trust, the Mormons do not trust the Bible, and they often state that the Bible is not translated correctly. So why is Mormonism a non-Christian religion? It is not Christian because it denies that there's only one God. It denies the true gospel. It adds works to salvation. It denies that Jesus is the uncreated creator. It distorts the biblical teachings of the atonement and undermines the authority and reliability of the Bible. Karm does not deny that Mormons are good people, that they worship a God, that they share common words and ideas with Christians. We don't deny that they help their people and that they do many good things. But that isn't what makes someone a Christian. Jesus said in Matthew 7, 21 through 23, he said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Becoming a Christian does not mean belonging to a church or doing good things or simply believing in God. Being a Christian means that you have trusted in the true God for salvation, in the true Jesus, not the brother of the devil, not the God of Mormonism, not the gospel of Mormonism. Mormonism is false and cannot save anyone.